and welcome to the Bee Peat beekeeping channel. Uh, we are on the 30th of June and this glorious 32 degree day that I'm already cooking in. Uh, we are going to inspect colony number three. They swarmed a couple of weeks back leaving a bunch of swarm cells so I stripped them down just to leave them a couple of cells so hopefully we have an emerged queen should be about now and she has emerged then yeah, maybe she'll be mated maybe she'll be laying fingers crossed so these are the bees in question so we've got um brood box kind of made out of these two so a super and a deep national and then we've got a super here which is i think probably undrawn because it's under the queen excluder and then a drawn super on top food Looks nicely. Right. And there should be no real change in the super because it's on the top. Okay. Yeah, I mean it's it's stacked your bits of comb which I probably just shuffled around. Put the outer ones in the middle so on the outside they generally work from less than on the inside it's all to do with heat and where the heat is within the in the colony. I did check forward these a bit with the existing frames that were in here. On the, on the super. Yeah, so these were check watered in, so new frame, new frame, new frame. Maybe I didn't. They all look new. Oops, they're drawing that one up nicely. and depropolizing these. Look at these. Okay, going out nicely. Then these are drawn out. That one is kind of looks like it's drawn out as well. Yeah, it's drawn out. They're working out. these outer frames in to try and get them to work that as well. Let's just shuffle everything along in inch girlies. Just to give you something to do. What is all this there? What have you done with that? That looks like it's melted. Definitely not convinced about that now. We've got some atomic bees generating too much heat. Right, so as they swarmed, I stripped out all of the swarm cells and we ended up with this nice little bunch of bees in the middle. So empty. Okay, so they're drawing this one. That's good. Half drawn that side, nothing drawn on the other side. Stores at the top. See they're capping over the stores here. And the capping over stops the the honey is hydroscopic, so it absorbs water. I think that's the right one. So we should have an emerged cell here somewhere. Look at all of that pollen. And a hundred along the top. And this side. Uh, yeah, we've got eggs. So we've got eggs in here. So we do have an emerged queen. And she is laying. Uh, see if I can 
clean that up a bit more. Get a bit closer. There are definitely eggs in there. Okay, and that side is just. I'm gonna try and find some empty holes. Yeah, in fact, there are eggs all through that section as well. So we have a successful mating. Here. We've only got three frames of these to look through, so it can't be that hard. So with the failure on finding Queen in colony one, I'm not hardly out much hope. Yep, there are eggs in there. She's there somewhere. I'll find her another week. Oh, she's laying, that's the main thing. Okay, so I need a couple of frames in here really, don't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. So a couple more frames will bring us up to the ten. They're okay at the minute. Oh, she could be in the um, super. Nope, all stores. One roof. And a So we have the queen that is immersed. She is mated. It is all go, go, go. I've got four frames in there that have got stuff in the brood nest, and we've got a couple of frames that have not. So uh, that should turn out to be uh, pretty good. Right, onwards and upwards. Thank you for watching. Please do comment like, subscribe, share, all the great things, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.